114 tournaments in the series. This is just their third cup final. Conversely, Fiji, this is their 59th all-time cup final. They've won 30 of those. Well, the stats might be on the side of Fiji, but don't discount this Kenyan team. I think they have the speed to match the speed to inside, but do they have the physicality? That's my question. As Richie Kelly will take charge of this one, well deserved to, under the 25th match for him. Fiji, though, Shawnee, haven't had it their own way today. Pushed to the death, one in the death in their quarter in semi final. So they are vulnerable, but are Kenya good enough to exploit that? It has been an epic oh, day's no. action here in Asia. The countdown clock is on. We're seconds away from liftoff. It is time to go large in Singapore and Kenya. Get us underway in the cup final against Fiji and it's going to fall for the Fijians. Looking to muscle up inside uh, Kenya and now they flood the breakdown and it comes clear. This is going to be the dream start for Kenya. Oscar Ayoni goes in for the Kenyans. Well, you answered my question pretty quick about the physicality. That breakdown was outstanding from Kenya. Straight from the kickoff, they applied pressure. Fiji couldn't handle it. Here it is here. He goes up to number 12. William Bucker. Watch them go to work. The Kenyans here. Two players in there. And then the number eight, Andrew Amonde, busts through. They pick it up. It's nice and clean for Oscar Ayori. And you're never going to catch him from there. Perfect start, Kenya. Extra two in off the boot of it's gonna float high and long and just be away to the left, so the score stays five mil in favor of Kenya over Fiji. You're getting your first taste of cup final. So you know it's ten minutes each way. A little bit more bang for your buck. We hope you're enjoying World Rugby's coverage of the Singapore Sevens. There it is, Kenya looking to make a back-to-back -back scores here against their more favoured opponents. Fiji, the work over the top there from Domalilo, got a great shot and didn't let go. Yeah, extra roll there by the Kenya player. They look to play fast in Fiji. Can they get it wide to space? They are loaded with... Weapons all over the field, but they're not going to be able to use those men for the moment. It's a bit scrappy, and Richard Kelly's found a Kenyan knock it on in there, and Fiji will feed the scrum. In these big games, you have to take every single opportunity, and fortunately for their Kenya, that's a big one missed. They had the chance, Oscar Yoyobi got them off to the perfect start. If they could just handle their ball, geez, it would have quite a mountain of pressure, and they've dominated the first two and a half minutes. Especially territory wise. Fine. Set. Well, there by two eye, and BG going to come across the path to Talinga, who has taken a ton of stopping here in Singapore, but on that occasion gets it wrong. It's going to fall for the Kenyans, and in the end, it's going to come loose out of the hands of Humphrey Kayangi. Fijians just look hesitant. It's the first time this weekend I've seen Kitione Talanga, who's been the hot man for Fiji, just not look too sure about what the game plan was. Ball given away far too much for Fiji. And characteristic for them to see that step. What a great attacking opportunity for the Kenyans right now. Have to make them pay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wind up. Crouch. Bind. Set. The scrum is good. The feet is sharp from Kenya. Dancing around is Lagonzo. Now switching to the rampaging try scorer Ayori. And now they can clear to the Wizard. The try scoring Wizard. Injera. Injera. Incredible. Kenya have hit it running in Singapore. 224th try for Collins and Jira. 
They are running at full noise at the moment. Kenya, look at him here. Two players to Fiji, the in and away. Doesn't get much better than that. He's done that before. This is probably the most important, though, he's done in his career. Outstanding. Collins and Jera. Conversion is going to miss the target and score stays in favour of Kenya and he is creeping up ever so slowly on Gomez Cora, the Argentinian whiz. 10 zip. It's not a typo, ladies and gents. Kenya are up over Fiji in the cup final. The kickoffs. Kenya have dominated kickoffs. Can Fiji finally get their hands on the ball from this one? Okay. Fiji with a chance now to Linga. Oh, it's just not going to plan at the moment for Fiji, but Richard Kelly found an earlier knock on from Kenya, so no harm done for the moment. Yeah, big let off there for the Fijians, and again, just trying to push it a little bit. Just a pass up, obviously. To Linga, only a young man. Still playing his trade, he's been outstanding the last couple of tournaments. Now let's hopefully he can get ball in hand with a bit of space. Your key was that as well. Can you consider just eight tries across two days of play Six. in Singapore? Better only by South Africa. Okay. Revolver goes around the back to Tua. Just creeping up the park. Kenya looking to shut down these Fijian threats. Domalala. Here comes the over-the-top gridiron pass, and unfortunately for Fiji, the captain has been unable to bring it in, and Kenya are going to hop straight back on attack. Oh, well, it was the right option there from Bidi Malu, I think it was. A nice 30-meter pass over the top. Unfortunately, the captain couldn't take the handle. Here he is here, just chucks it over gridiron style. Oh, and just turns his back and knocks it on. There's a lot of space there for Kalini South. Okay. This weekend, becoming the most capped Fijian sevens player of all time. Congratulations to Oscar. And the milestone well reached. Find. Set. Come out. Reset. Fijians at the moment, Sean, they just look like they're, they're a bit tired. To scrap with anything today, so crouch two passes for the Kenyans. I've scored two Fine. tries. Set making it count. Kenya for the moment, still a long time to go in this one, though. He's a man who got it started. Aotic, and now they're going to go back to. Their go-to, Injira looking to free the pass and set it falls back to Fiji, but Richard Kelly says that was slapped down from Fiji. And on they'll come, Kenya, rumbling, Injira. He nails it down. Kenya are bringing the noise in Singapore. Well, big players stand up on the big stage and Collins Injira is standing up tonight for Kenya. Look at him here, straight on the ball, sees the defeat. He's got his back turning, it was only one way, he was going straight down Main Street, Singapore. What a remarkable start to this game. The play has been camped in the Fijians half, and Kenya, when presented with the opportunity to score, have done so. And the scoreline looks like that. Kenya 15, Fiji yet to score. Sports. Fiji yet to have the ball in the Kenya 22. This half is just flown by only less than two minutes left on the clock and Fiji guilty of giving away too much ball. Again, it's going to fall for the many red. Oh, they already look to get the pass over his head and it's gone forward. I feel like we've seen this over and over in his first half, Carlton. It's like Groundhog Day. Scrum set, Fiji and feed. They'll turn it over and Kenya will score. 
They're just dominating in the air from kickoff, Sean. That's the thing at the moment. The Kenyan side is some replacements come on, and they need it too. Kenya, well, they've only lost one, and that's against South Africa. But as you said, it's the defence, that side of the ball, that's really pushed them through this tournament so far. They haven't been tested as yet, but I'm sure yep. they will before this game's all set Come on. Crouch. Bind. Set. This scoreline won't trouble the Fijians, though. They were down an identical deficit against Australia in Las Vegas earlier this year and found a way to work their way back into that one and get the prize. They might be behind by a couple more, though, if Kiyange can maintain possession here and his man on the outside can get it happening. Perhaps they go the direct route. Oh, you betcha they are! Kenya! The underdogs are serving it up to the heavyweight champs. And they are serving it up on a platter. Again, great work at the breakdown. They've obviously identified that's where they're going to attack Fiji. Four players for Kenya in and amongst it, but they don't go wide. They keep it where all their players are in that short route. And then this man here, Samuel Oliech, gets the fourth for Kenya. Well, 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 well. I don't know how much you can read in a body language, but during the anthems, the Kenyans were all smiles, happy as Larry, whereas the Jeans looked a little more reserved, looked a little more nervous, you might even say. The kick's off to the right, so it's four tries, none of them converted. They're all in Kenya's favour, which gives us that scoreline, 20-0 to the Kenyans. BG this time bring it down through Domalala. Are we going to get some more points before the break? Is it going to be Dakuwanga who can get Fiji back into this one? That's going to spit right out the side and Fiji will get a chance. So a couple of changes with Dakuwanga on the park. It has taken 10 minutes of play for Fiji to even get into this real estate. And they're going to need to muscle up there. They can't. Kenya are up to the challenge. And at halftime in the cup final, Kenya, yes, Kenya are clear by 20 over Fiji. Ten 
Yeah. You believe it. For your country, boys. Yeah. So, so, so good night. Right. Yes. Yeah, to go. To go. To Kenya. Comes and Jira just saying to his team, that's 10 minutes of your lives. Do it for your country. Kenya never won a cup final, Shawnee. They've been in three. They've never won. This is only the second time in history they've scored four tries in a game against Fiji. And Kenyan Sevens is so well supported back in their country as well. In and around Nairobi, they will be getting a little excited, you think. Whoa, we are set for a cracking second half. We really are. 20 points is nothing to this Fijian side who pulled it from the fire twice today. Getting out of jail late against Australia and after full time against the Blitzbocker. Second half action underway. Our cup final in Singapore and it's Kenya who are up over Fiji by 20. They have dominated. This is going to come loose for who, though, is the question. Kenya all seems to be going their way for the moment. They pair through and make the tackle. Revolve. Talinga is going to kick for himself, looking for the bounce now. It's going to be excellent. Scrapping from Lagonzo, though, to get back and shut that threat down. Still marching. Gee, he's a powerful man. Aoti. So too is this guy. Amonde, the captain. Rumbling it on. And Fiji are sharp at the breakdown. And they force a much-needed penalty. Yeah, their coach Ben Roy implored them to be more dynamic in that area. And they need to be because Kenya have dominated the first team. composure of this Fijian team is something else and they're going to be able to take play now just shy of the 22 thanks to Daku Wanga it's just power all across the park in both these sides but Daku Wanga has gone without there in Kenya have it Fijian over the top looking release for the, the steal to told to release by Richard Kelly and Touched. hacking it downtown is Oliish Back is his opposite number, Talinga. Floats the ball to the captain, Colin Isau. Colin Isau looking to get him behind, and he does so. Where's Oscar's support? Now it arrives in the form of Revolvo. Revolvo dummying. Now switching back on the inside. You could have put the house on it. Fiji were always going to hit back, hit back hard. And going in is Jerry Tuai. This is why he was a player of the tournament in Hong Kong last weekend. That man there, the captain, got back and then brought the ball forward with some authority, drew in some defenders, some great work by Revolver on this guy, Jerry Tuwa. He's the expected for the PGMs. He's not going to have any chance in this final. He has to have his hands on the ball as much as possible. And the conversion, the chip shot is good. It's 13 points to the difference with... Kenya leading Fiji. Fiji on the hunt here. Looking to slap it back and unfortunately for the Fijians it's been knocked on. Well, physically the Kenyans are very much the same match as the Fijians. They've got long limbs, a very quick right across the park. I think that's why at the moment it's gone all, uh, all Kenya. Right. Just getting in the way of support players of the Fijians, which is so integral. The attackers have been outstanding, but Fiji have had to make double. Zero miss from the Kenyans. Wonderful start through 13 minutes of play. The Fijian fans here in Singapore trying to lift their side as always. Plenty of supporters Crouch. following those men around the planet as part Fine. of the HSBC World Rugby 7 Series. Set. Fiji looking to make it back-to-back -back cup wins in Asia. Champions in Hong Kong last week and up against it here 
be a very good Kenyan outfit. Well, you don't see the Kenyans well, kick very often. That's their second in as many minutes. Pressure on. It might pay dividends. No, he's just caught his hand on the way through. And it'll be a Fijian fee to the scrum. Oh, that was close for Fiji. Oh, a 50-50 pass in front of Yona Horns, ill-advised, but they get away with it, Fiji. But only just put the enthusiasm of this Kenyan team for setting them apart at the moment. Come out. Yep, sub. Number seven. Number seven. Vito Kani making his way onto the field for Fiji. And it looks as though the captain's going to come off for a breather, Kyle Tanana. Yeah, that's a big call. He's had to play a lot of minutes here. As I see a Kalini so remember, he can come back on five changes for both sides. It can be one player, it can be multiple players. So I'm sure this is tactically being right what he wants. I'm sure Crouch. Kalini Sauer will be back on at some stage. Find. Set. Good pressure from Kenya, but BG are up to it. And now they get on the fast break, thanks to Revolvo. Yeah, the defense from Kenya is brutal. They are coming from everywhere to swat the Fijians, and they've turned possession back in their favour. Sorry, Alex, knock on. But we're going to come back for a knock on. Our assistant ref on the far side wants to have a little chat to Rich Kelly. 11 red is the goal. Number 11 red. 11 red. Just the penalty. Thank you. It looks like he might have a neck roll, so he can't go anywhere from the neck up. And you go Sorry, into a rut, so the, the Kenyans there. Just the He's getting stunned, and that's fair enough too. Fiji down by 13. Taku Wanga breaks clear. He goes early to Revovo. Possibly could have held it up a little longer. Kenya get back and shut down that threat. And now they're going to. Just take a moment, catch their breath, get set. Oh, Oliush has lost the handle on the pill, and it'll be a Fijian scrum pick. Oh, Daku Wango, I think he went early on the pass, KT. Oh, no doubt he did. No doubt he did, Shawnee. He was in the backfield. All he needed to do was draw the last player of Fiji. Gave it way too early, but the scrambling defense of Kenya has been second to none. Oh, geez, that's nice to watch, isn't it? Both teams Number 10. just going full noise at each other. Here's the mistake, though. This is where Fiji have to score. Important moments in this game. Number 12. Number 12. It's probably worth reminding everyone, Carl, as well, that in their most recent game against each other in Hong Kong in the cup quarterfinal, Kenya led up until after the full-time Muru had gone before Crouch. Fiji pulled one out of the bag. So they know what it Fine. takes to stay deep into the contest against the Set. Fijians. It's going to have to be 20 minutes worth here, but here go Fiji, opportunity. Revolvo bullets a pass across the park to the new man, Vedokani, and Talinga. Oh, he's been driven into the turf and lost it as well. Now some OU, great one-on-one -on -one defense I'm against the right scrum. One of the players scrum. of the tournament, Kitione Talinga. Look at that, perfect stuff, good leg drive, good shoulder on, good technique, that's how you defend. Those errors have been forced by the king of defence, I feel, just the pressure on. Crouch. That's what wins your tournament, Sean. Attack, win your games, defence. Let's get, 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 get your cup wins. Kenya chasing their first ever Cup win on the circuit. Going in and away here is OU. OU's got wheels. OU's got serious wheels. OU, 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 OU goes the length. OU will be a hero in Kenya if they can hang on. He's got wheels for days. Oh, you good thing. Nelson Oyu, has he put it beyond doubt for the Kenyans? Deep within his own half, goes around Kitione Talinga. He made the tackle in defense one on one. And now he turns into an attack. There's no way that Nasila Stila could get him as much as he tried, but that.
is special from Nelson Oyu. You touched on it, you nailed it, Carl Tanana. Defence wins you big ones. They had to cover the threat down the far side. It was Nelson getting across on that occasion to force the error out of Fiji, and the next minute he's hot on attack and he just gets it done. He doesn't even look tired, does he? he looks like he can go straight away again. Does Ost Nelson or you? They are just up for it. They've been up for it right from the start, as you said, from the national anthems. They look comfortable, they look relaxed. There was no pressure on them, it was all on Fiji, and they haven't disappointed tonight. Kenya up by 18. It would take a miracle for Fiji to get out of jail on this occasion. They have been brave all weekend. Kenya perhaps can put a little sugar on it here in Singapore. Right, 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 right. Yeah, they need to rush here, Kenya. A minute 45 left, so they'll just slow it down, get to their set-piece play on the tap and try and ice this game turnovers one look at that that's that even though what say three has played a lot bigger than that they have dominated the breakdown so i think for there is the gonzo there is the tries very clears the pass as well we're going to get another one for kenya it's frank Frank the Tank says, fill it up again. Well, now they're going to start enjoying this moment, are the Kenyans? A nice late cut by Lugonzo. Good defense, one on one, but unfortunately just ran out of numbers. And Frank Wanyama, there it is here. They come along, get that down here. I can't wait to see the Kenyan dance. <laughs> oh, they'll be dancing for days back in the capital as well. A remarkable scoreline, an extraordinary scoreline in favour of Kenya over Fiji. Injira, who is responsible for his side even being in the big one after landing a 45 metre penalty goal at the death against Argentina. Collins in Jira have just been handed a note, been told he's the player of the final. Congratulations to Collins in Jira, the 11 for Kenya. That's going to do it. That's going to do it. And this is why we just love Sevens. It has taken them 114 tournaments to enjoy this moment. Kenya, congratulations. That was just awesome. it means to that country look at those men they cannot believe it these are such beautiful pictures Carl this is this is special no doubt before the tournament the Kings would have been a thousand billion to one to win a cup final here in Singapore no one picked them but all that mattered was the group in red they believed in another and they were dominant in this final surely absolutely dominant against the number one team in the world Fiji. Fiji just couldn't do anything about it. But Kenya, congratulations on your maiden win. You deserve it. History being made in Singapore.